Okay, today's work uh, out on the um, TI on the White Pearl. Made a uh, main sheet riser, riser, however you want to pronounce it. Um, I wanted to be able to carry uh, my wheels at all times. A couple of people, friends, have asked me what I've put the foam on there for. That's to um, actually stop the wheels protruding out the bottom of the boat. Um, Bend in the poles, but anyway, you slide that out. It's, you know, a few twists and bends, but um, it just sits there, literally slides in. Sorry, I'm caught up. Just sits in the uh, fishing rod holes, full depth, slides them right in. That's just bent in, twisted around, sitting down. It's actually sitting on the corners. I'm going to put a little bit of Bricky's foam there, stop any kind of rubbing. I've put a little bit of a bit of the uh, heater um, an indentation in the bottom of the pipe, so if there's any flex, it won't hit the th um, wire through for my fish finder once I get it. But uh, let's put the wheels back in. So. Got a couple of tees there. I haven't fixed this piece yet. I haven't worked out how far out my fishing rod holders that I'm gonna it's just gonna be another bit of tee piece. All well, running 32 mil uh, PVC using pressure pipe uh, joins just for a little extra strength in the joins in case any flex. I don't think this, I don't believe the standard ones with a little bit. Um, of hard flex would put up with it but use pressure point joins uh, pressure pipe joins sorry getting a little tongue tied there so the pole on the right hand side I'm going to get a uh, 360 nav light because um, I plan on doing a little bit of fishing of the night time possibly and uh, just got the Jolly Roger on the on the flag pole at the moment but that will be uh, flying the uh, Australian flag that's this this weekend's tinkering around on the white pearl. Uh, a little bit. Yeah. Bends around, pulls straight down. You know, if you look at the geometry there, it's you know, just a little bit fraction of uh, straight down on the pull. So hopefully there's no flex in the hull or any... Uh, stress fractures that come I don't believe there will be I, but that's uh, yeah that's today's effort thanks for watching all right for everyone that's interested I got the tape measure out so we are using 32 mil pipe that's inch and a quarter um, using pressure pipe joins Okay, starting at the top, we have a 50 mil, two inch, two pieces in there to join the collar and the 245s. Then we have a 14 inch, a 355 mil, running down to a 45, a two inch, 50 mil piece, joining 245s, running into a nine inch, a 228 mil down into my T-piece, and then another, well, probably work out to be about 40 mil, I've got the two of them touching, um, into the 45, running down to a seven and a quarter inch, roughly 181 mil, into another T-piece, and we've got an eight inch, 215 mil, running into which slides into the fishing rod holder slot now I've got a bit of 40 mil pipe okay a bit of 40 mil pipe I got it onto the grinder and machined it down so it would slide in there because it doesn't quite fit into the fishing rod hole I've slid that on as a bit of a collar I don't know how well you can see it um, but that makes it fit the top of the hole nice and firm and doesn't slap about in the top of the uh, molding okay going down we've got a three and a half inch 
I think it works out to about 88 mils roughly to another 45 another three and a half inch 88 mil running down to a 45 butted hard up against a 90 so another 40 45 mil piece there running across the bottom 13 inch 330 mil and then you just copy it back up the other side um, you know these this one for the uh, light pole is a 20 mil bit of pipe running down to a 45 just into a bit of plastic welding I'm not very good at I'm I'm a welder not a plastic welder big difference between working with steel and metal same here this is actually a 15 mil for my fishing rod ah uh, fishing rod my uh, flag pole that's just a 19 mil uh, sorry 15 mil bit of pipe another 45 plastic welded and the actual pole for the flag to go on was just a old um, broken arrow I had lying around. Um, yeah, just a target arrow that cut the ends off. And then I put a bit, a bit of reflective tape across the back of it, just at the top here. Um, more when it's sitting on the trailer. Um, people following behind me, I see they in the rear vision mirror, they uh, seem to target me. But this is what I uh, needed, the plastic welding, making sure all the fittings were home true to cut the pipe, um, that was to fill that. Um, that I used in the bottom of it here. I, um, I've drilled a hole for the wiring and that was the indentation I put in for the uh, fish finder transducer cable um, through point leftover fittings I brought I just grabbed two three meter lengths of the um, 32 mil and Bunnings had the uh, 20 mil and the 15 mil just in meter lengths that's what's left over there and a few fittings left over but that's pretty much what I needed um, to glue all the fittings together, I just use that to mark the measurements, tape, paint to pretty it up. And once I run the wiring, I'm actually going to fill the entire frame, full expansion frame. So hopefully waterproof it and won't get waterlogged. All right, but uh, that's broken down for you guys. And um, I'll go and place it in the white pearl for you and you can see how well it fits. Okay, we're just walking up to the pearl and uh, if I face it the right way and a little bit awkward trying to hold the camera and so she just slides on in just give it a little bit of a push make sure she sits home but uh, that's it folks all right Thank you for watching and I hope this helps anyone else with their uh, do-it-themselves projects. Right, a couple of days after a trip to SLH, um, grabbed a couple of items, my uh, night light, it's all hardwired in now, um, my uh, low rants fish finder, chart plotter, um, what else do I get? get into this rear hatch, got the um, battery mount and two of these beauties, um, so I've still got the uh, 7 amp hour one mounted in there, so the 7 amp hour runs the light, I've just had it running non-stop. We got nearly 37 hours out of a fully charged 7 amp hour battery just running that light. So there's a long weekend out um, uh, out fishing. Don't have to charge the battery. That's three nights of fishing. Um, you know, it's what, you know, 30 odd amp hours to run the uh, fish finder. So it's the same. Okay, um, 
So what I've done here, a couple of days while I've been tinkering around with this, um, I didn't like how much movement that was in my design. So I've grabbed a uh, off an old 125 dinghy that I had. Um, grabbed this stainless steel line, anchored it up here, three quarters of the way up. Little stainless steel eyelets and just looped it down through a D shackle there and you know, up to a clip so I can quite easily um, yank her out. That's not an issue. Um, so because I've done all that, all these didn't line up anyway. It's don't know if it's happening to anyone else's TI or whatnot, but yeah, it's not too good on the rope. You know the angles they had. You know these pitch too far there and they should be sitting up a little bit you know I've noticed the ropes frame by running on this edge so you know I've by lifting that up I've changed the angle there this was in the wrong place so I had to move this up plastic weld a hole and I had to move this over so plastic weld another couple of holes but oh it's tight now Moved that forward, moved that over. That's for my uh, spinnaker line that runs down through the block and up. It runs through the eyelet here and then on up to the top of the mask. So that's the um, yeah, that's the setup that I've got for my main sheet razor. Um, yeah, so I went and instead of a little bunning stainless steel one I, that I had on it earlier, I've picked this up from SLH while I was there so you know nice and free and works properly you know all stainless steel eyelets so that's the setup you know, this piece here actually came off um, an old uh, 125 dinghy I had it it's the uh, jib line anchor point on the bow um, so I've still got the old girl over there oh well, that's one of them that's still operational uh, I'm not stealing any parts of that one just of yet but um, yeah that's it latest set of mods so, had to put a pet power through point down there I didn't like the idea of running it down the side where they had there's nothing in the center there for it so I had to chuck a three-way in there and it's an aluminium bracket I had from um, doing some solar panels it's actually a yeah, solar panel um, mount bracket so aluminium won't rust stainless steel bolts just a uh, block of um, another phone that I had. So, that's the new toy. So, transducers in the spot in the bottom of it. It's, it's just a split shot. Um, you know, fish finder and chart plotter split shot. So, that's it.